What is up everybody? It's Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this contact form section right here. And the example store we will be using to put it in is going to be this surfboard brand of mine. And I'm going to show you how you can customize your form builder like this. And I just say we jump right into it. Ready? First thing we want to be doing is heading on over to the Shopify app store where you want to be looking for Section Store. It's a component library for highly designed Shopify sections you can easily install in every theme. So yeah, after we successfully downloaded the app, we're gonna head back to the main area of uh, your Shopify admin store, which is that one right here. We're gonna go to online store and open up the app and it should show us that right here that's a collection of all of the sections we're already owning and we're going to click on sections and we can simply type in form builder and there we have it already click on the thing and the whole app is completely free but some of our sections like this one like our premium sections which have a lot of customization options come uh, as a one-time purchase of nine dollars so that means if you ordered once uh, bought it once you're gonna own it forever and there are no subscription fees or anything hidden in the purchase so yeah after successfully buying it you head back to the home area where you need to do one last step which is add the whole thing to your theme and then you can easily use it in your editor which i'm gonna show you right now so we're just gonna have a look at that one i'm just gonna get rid of that and down here we can just add the section type in form builder and it should appear in no time there we have it sweet first thing we want to be doing because it just comes like that we want to add all the blocks to the whole thing so we're gonna do that real quick the drop down box as well and the custom message and we need a, another one liner which is that one right here and yeah that is pretty much all we need and we want to switch those two as well and now we're going to go into the blocks so we can do just going to drag up the little menu here we want to select that one first that's going to be the field title so we want to start with the email address it's going to be my email address and the text inside email as well and we don't want it to be full with we want it to be half with so that block down here where we we want to make it required as well where we're gonna put in the other field um so yeah if you put that on half with and also give it a name and the title and everything it's simply gonna get put next to each other's so we're gonna call this one name and it's immediately sliding down there so i think that's quite a nice way to organize the whole thing here in the next block we can decide what's the reason for the message to place all the optional let us know why you are messaging us that looks sweet already and the drop down options we can simply separate by using a comma so first one is going to be shipping cost and material i'm going to show you in the next step after we customize the whole thing how that's going to look like i'm happy with full width and that one is not required so customers can just send a message as easy as that okay sweet the multi-text field is going to be that one where you want to be like the actual message and to place all the text is message here and it's supposed to be full width i'm happy with that as well and the last block the custom message is gonna appear underneath the whole thing we usually text back in 10 hours it's gonna do a really random number yeah but i think you got the whole thing and if we click on the whole block itself we can customize the whole thing which is what we're going to do right now so the page title is going to be drop us a message right now successfully send so if we click on send and it actually got through it's going to just go like that we can give it a little border radius as well 
and we can decide if it's going to be on the left side or the middle. I'm more happy with the middle. The button is fully customizable as well. I'm just going to do some really random numbers on that one. So the text color is going to be orange. The button will be like that. That looks sweet. The syntax is also changeable. So you can see it's updating in life right here. Here are some button customizations we can do. We can make it full width. I think it looks a bit nicer like that because it aligns with the rest of the thing. And those are like general typography things you can customize as well. Here we can do some more little add-ons. So you can see basically everything of the whole thing is customizable. Doesn't look as nice as the one I showed you in the beginning, but I just want to show you all the customization options. Let's save it all up and have a look at it, it at the live version. So just saved it up. Perfect. We're going to give that a little reload so we can have a look at ours. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can type everything in our email, the name, the reason for the message. It's going to be cost. And here will be the message and the end of the video. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. We can send it right here. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if there are any questions or anything, we are happy to help. And with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out.